Hi, my name is Ryan Ford. I'm one of the producers on NBA Live 15. I'm here at Gamescom and ready to talk NBA. So NBA Live 14 was a progressive work that improved over the span of time through updates. Talk a little about what your mindset was heading into NBA Live 15. Yeah, I think you nailed it right there. I mean, obviously fans saw the increase we made in NBA Live 14 and how we made the game better. We wanted to keep that same focus. So really this year it's all about focusing on gameplay, visuals, and onboarding. Um, really what's the core of the game and continuing to make improvements where we did with NBA Live 14. Uh, again, we've spent a ton of time on making gameplay just incredible. It's much, much better and one of the things we want to keep making better. Um, visuals, we've really focused on scanning the majority of the players in the league, which makes it fantastic difference. We've got 70% of the league scanned right now and working to get the rest. And then onboarding, obviously, we know we're a new game. It's something we want players to learn how to play. And, you know, frankly, last year we didn't do a great job of showing, teaching players how to play the game. We want to make sure that the second guys turn the game on, they learn how to play our game. They understand the depth of the control and how accessible and responsive that is and making sure they understand that. We really feel that's a great thing and part of our game. So how are you doing that? Talk about that new uh, tutorial mode. Yeah, so the second you put the game in the tray or you download it from a store, you're going to actually be taken into a brand new mode called Learn Live. And within that, you're going to see a progressive set of drills that teach you everything from shooting, scoring, and dribbling, all the way to how to run a fast break with some cool behind-the-back passes. It's really going to basically take you from a beginner to a fairly good player in NBA Live. Additionally, we have a shoot-around mode and practice where you can actually be able to play the game modes in a consequence-free environment. You guys also have Rising Star. Explain what that's about. Yeah, so in Rising Star, you create a player. Uh, you can be yourself or whoever you'd like to be. Um, and you're actually going to go through the whole, you know, the, the, the life and times of an NBA player. You're going to play in a prospect game and get drafted. You're going to progress. There's an awesome new uh, um, performance tracker in the game that's actually going to track all the movements that you have on the court. So was it a good shot? Were you, were you con was it a contested shot? Were you guarded? Are you being a good teammate? Were you in the right places? So really kind of adding that next level of depth to Rising Star. When it comes to online, talk about the gameplay options there. Yeah, so in online we have head-to-head -head seasons, um, which everyone's favorite game mode, they love it. Uh, we'll have that. We we'll also have a best of seven friends finals, which I always equate to if you're in college or university, like in a dorm playing, and you and your buddies used to say the best of seven series. We actually will track that for you and keep that up. Additionally, I really want to hit on live seasons. So when the NBA season starts, you'll be able to play along with, our, with the actual NBA season in both big moments and an NBA rewind. So you'll be able to either replay games as they happen with that exact lineup and all the data from that game or select big moments that we as a team will actually uh, put up, post up in many times within a couple hours of the game's finishing. Can you go back to the, your original point with uh, the new capturing and give us an idea of how much more detail there is with your new technique compared to what we saw in the first game? Yeah, so honestly, scanning, um, it's tough to even explain how much better it is. I mean, I think you saw it for yourself. It makes a marked, marked improvement. Um, you're seeing everything from poor detail and, uh, you know, facial hair. Everything looks amazing. That coupled with our new lighting technique that we're putting in all the different arenas has really made a fantastic improvement in not just how our players look, or excuse me, players look, but their bodies look. You know, we've scanned jerseys, uh, shoes, skin types, everything, and you put it with new lighting and the game looks phenomenal. How is it impacting the actual fans standing and sitting in the arena? Oh, uh, well, those actually, they've all been scanned as well. So uh, all the fans have been scanned, uh, their clothes are wearing has been scanned. It makes a massive, massive increase. You know, when we say, you know, improving visuals, we've touched every single asset in the game this year. That's not an exaggeration. Every asset that you see in NBA Live 15 has been upgraded from NBA Live 14. What have you guys done with the artificial intelligence with the actual players and how they play uniquely? Yeah, so we spent a lot of time improving artificial intelligence this year. Um, if you may be familiar with last year, we have a partnership with Synergy Sports Technology. Um, what they do is every single day during the season, we connect and we download uh, basically a player DNA and artificial intelligence set of actually how they play in the real life. So you'll see teams play correctly. You know, you'll see uh, team specific defenses. You'll see players themselves going left and right, the right percentage and basically exhibiting the behaviors you'd expect them to see. What is the competition you guys have out there with 2K Sports bring to the table as you guys compete in this same arena? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, we all love competition. It's fun to have. Um, it's one of the things where we feel our game is differentiating in certain areas. Uh, you know, we know that they're obviously a great game and we, we like a lot of the things they do, but we feel that we can provide a better brand of basketball moving forward. And we enjoy having, uh, you know, basic control, responsiveness, and having all these unique control sets and the responsiveness of animations. And that's really what we hang our hat on. Can you talk a little bit more about the control and, and, and how it does separate itself from the competition? Yeah, so for us it's all about responsiveness. Um, you'll see from the second you pick it up that you can always do what you want to do. There's nothing that really feels pre-canned. Um, anytime you have an action, you feel like there's a direct reaction to that. Um, you'll just It's a feel thing, right? When you pick the control up, you'll immediately see, notice a difference. Um, that's one of the things we really want people to try out the game and make sure they can get their own hands on and play.